we are back. We're back. We're still alive. We're still immortal. The immortal Nega sister, picking up right off where we left uh, in the last episode. We're gonna finish off these uh, Darkshire quests. Darkshire, Darkshore. I am really bad with some of these names. Like Duskwood. <laughs> Get out of here, Wolf. few messages from people at the moment. Must have seen me uh, hop on and apparently young Waza, our uh, warrior slash hunter from the dungeon group, was at the pokies. He's telling me he's turned a hundred dollars into twelve hundred dollars. Congratulations Waza. And I'm quite happy to accept some of that money. Jeez, we haven't even hit this guy yet. Come on. Hey, was is telling me he sent me the money? Excellent. Oh no! <laughs> It's not sent, it's spent. Sorry, spent it. How did you already spend $1,200? Must be a big restock of uh, the alcohol fridge. Buying new tires, apparently. Well, I hope they're good tires. Need four more. The top area looks like it's pretty much cleared out. I'm gonna have a dip down. Looking like these are about to respawn. We can take advantage of that. I'm not too concerned here. I'm pretty confident. Should be able to take these down as they spawn and finish the quest off. Like we are going to have to take this uh, patrolling one out. Maybe, maybe. Is he going to turn around? Or is it quicker to just put an end to him? Uh, just looking like we're going to get a couple on us here. Which I am okay with because we can remove uh, the nasty stuff they do. One more hit. Come on. Here we go. wonder if this is the same group that I saw go in before. It hasn't been that long, maybe uh, maybe 10 minutes or so. Really shouldn't be pulling this, I should be getting a little bit of mana, a little bit of health. That will definitely, uh, definitely do that after. I didn't see how they put a heal over time on me. Thank you, uh, Priest, even though I didn't even notice it. Two to go. Actually, the uh, of the manor ain't that bad. If I try to get you. Pretty sure you're gonna pull your friend as well. And he didn't. Man, I've been on fire with these pulls. And there is our last kill spawning. As long as no one else wanders through here, we are set. Jeez, I mean that—that's the difference uh, in the last episode. Just waiting around for respawns, you just come back a little bit later, and uh, everything is easy again. Still got to kill these skeletons up top. That could be another story. 
Uh, there might be a bunch of people trying to kill those. I'm going to find out shortly, though. Um, and then we really are uh, on to the, the next mission of finding where are we going. Where is our next? Oh, we want to finish off Wetlands. Keep forgetting that. That's probably going to be what we do then. We'll probably uh, finish up here then finish up Wetlands, time permitting. Um, and then it will be uh, a big new world out there, a new mission, a new area that we've never been to before, or at least uh, haven't been to much. Maybe it's somewhere we've just dipped into. There's got to be a lot of stuff on the other continent that we've just never touched. I've heard the uh, salt flats are very good for experience and for just for questing in general. Why am I saying I've heard? I know they are. <laughs> I've done it before. We don't want brain eaters. We want skeletons. Heard the... Uh, again, I've heard. I know the run is a little bit tricky to uh, to get down there. I am not going to look at my map while I'm doing this. Alright, skeletons are looking a little bit spicy. We've been able to mark up the big threat again. It's great. That makes me feel a lot safer. Mm. Yeah, this is looking like it might be a little bit of a challenge. Unless there's a whole bunch of mobs underground in this uh, mausoleum. If that is the case, then that might be um, that might be where we have to go. I'm gonna save a little burst damage here in case it tries to heal wasn't actually looking at what it was doing. It might have already healed and I just didn't notice. Please, why is this guy not aggroing? Don't want to fight the spider as well. Looks like I'm going to have to, though. Yep. Oh, I thought that was uh, more lad in there. He had that sort of bronzy look. Same look. So this is the type of skeleton we need to, uh, you know, by far this is the one we need to kill the most. The skeletal raider 15. Um, if there are not skeletal raiders down the bottom, I think we're going to be in a little bit of trouble for uh, getting those kills. There's only one way to find out. It's like that one we just saw was a patrol. Okay, we do have skeletal raiders down here. That'll make life a bit easier. This is uh, quite expensive down here. We're going to have no issues. In fact, I uh, shouldn't have even bothered trying to kill the healers up top. Looks like they're everywhere down here. We are not seeing many raiders, though. It does kind of feel like the raiders should be the easy ones that are just up top, and uh, these are the harder ones down below. That's the vibe I'm getting. Raiders are the ones we need to find. Mmm, definitely looking that way. Well, we might as well polish these off while we're here. And then uh, cross our fingers that there's a few more raiders up top when we uh, return. This is the last water we need. We can grab the last healer right there. And I don't know how we're going to find all these raiders. 14 more raiders. Yeah, you come out here, my friend. Skeletal healer. Who seems to do more DPS than actually healing. There's the heal. So what is our map saying? <laughs> Map's not really telling us a lot. Ah, skeletal raider. Okay. Oh yeah, we might be getting a few respawns here. 
perfect timing if they all start popping up now. So they got stone war axe. Wouldn't want to go to war with that. Can we grab this without him? He's turning this way as well. You're going to keep on running. We know he's not as fast as us, or at least he's the same speed. He's not faster. So if we do pull, we'll be able to escape. I just don't see a reason to take that chance. After all, he is the 17th most... Oh, Jesus. That is a long stun. I think I'm seeing another way that uh, this guy is the 17th most deadly uh, creature in Azeroth. Having these 7 second stun spiders nearby, trying to run away from him, suddenly you get that on you. Yeah, say goodnight. He has really just decided to hang around this area. Good thing is, it looks like it's quietened down a little bit, at least uh, just here. Though there's not a whole lot of uh, raiders around yet, at least there's not as many people. And Ecstasy is a uh, player named Ecstasy. It's taking out a raider over there, which is unfortunate. There is another raider around somewhere, though. Where is this skull? Where is the skull that I'm seeing? Is it inside, maybe? There's definitely a raider around somewhere. Hope it's not in that house on the hill. Any skulls down here? Raider skulls, specifically? Water, water, water. This is... Not here, not here. Yeah, no. No raiders down here. Keep an eye out for any squares as we come out. It must be in this building. It's either in this building or it's uh, in the ground somewhere. Westy is showing them in this direction. There's one. It's not the one we marked, but... It's something. This will be 5 to 15, one third of the way there. We are probably not going to bother with the rock blossoms. So this could be our last thing over here. I know there's... Uh, lit quests and stuff. Okay, we're back to the skull. That we don't know where it is. Ah, oh, here we go. Alright, so we just gotta fight our way in here a little bit. Which might be more complicated than it seems. A bit of gymnastics here. Which we probably don't need to do. And we'll take this guy out as well, just to make sure we're nice and safe. Basically, we're making him run in between our swings. Totally unnecessary, but... Uh, don't have much else to do while waiting for, s for uh, my swing timer. It's looking pretty unavoidable from getting a double pull. Triple pull is where uh, I'll draw the line. See how many come out here. 
looking like it's just two. Keep backing it up. <laughs> hey, if you guys want to do that, I'm okay with it. Oh, please don't come here and uh, take my skull that I've fought to get to. really likes doing Plague Mind. Does it actually do damage? It doesn't. So it's really just wasting our mana. It's basically what it's doing by making us purify. Alright, can we finally claim our prize? We can. There might be more upstairs? Find out as soon as this one goes down. And there is. Now, uh, what cool is this place going to be? Pretty happy that was a, an easy pull. If you go into houses like this, you kind of expect to have double or triple pulls everywhere. Where's this one? There's one more up here. Uh, and a named mob, which I believe is part of a chain. It's either, that's either the quest we're already doing, or it's the one that we're, uh, skipping here with the rot blossoms. Oh, he's got 3,600 health. That is not a quest that we will be doing by ourselves. At least not for, like, another five levels or so. Good, good thing is we've got more raiders spawning. They probably share a spawn with the healers, so it might be worth killing the healers too. There is our uh, great enemy, Morladum. He is coming this way. How far this way, though? Looking like he might travel down this way. I'm happy with that. Oh, he's <laughs> coming this way. He's going to cock block me from uh, getting to this, this raider. Getting more raiders pop up here and there. So this will get us to 11, these two. Oh god, he's he's going exactly where I just came from. Yeah, I'll watch him turn and come exactly where I am now. Other oh, radar, he's taken off as well. Oh, that's a big pack of players. Well, maybe it's only two. Two and a, a summon. Alright, he's up off the hill. Very happy with that. I can see another raider over there behind the building. That'll get us to 12, as long as no one comes and tags it. Got a feeling after that point, though, we're probably going to be waiting for respawns again. Don't have much of a choice about it, though. Might as well kill these healers while we're waiting for more. We'll do a little target magic, see if there's anything that, uh, any raiders around that we can't see. There is. Where is this located, though? I'm going to assume it's downstairs. It's kind of funny that you'd be targeting something in a building from this far away. Oh, okay, well. Take you first. No, 
not interested in the water. Probably have to kill it anyway. If we are going to have a peek downstairs. There was one raider down there. Um, when we looked before, originally. So that might be the, the one respawn. Just had a thought of... Uh, <laughs> more Adam coming this way while we're downstairs and coming back up and walking right into him and having nowhere to run except down further, that would be very frightening. Here is our Skull Raider. It's going to leave us with one to go. Wow, okay. He is piling on the poisons. There's a live one somewhere. Keeping an eye open for squares. It's up here. Right, so we didn't actually have to, uh, didn't end up having to do any real big weights at all for respawns. Oh, I bet this one was uh, keen for the raider. Or pickles, sorry. I'll give you a buff. And uh, I might just kill a couple of these uh, skellies since we're in the area away from square. Kill a couple, see if we... Actually, no, we want to turn in. We don't want to go away from it. Go do our turn in now. It's probably going to go and tell me to go kill that uh, named mob in the building at the top. The one up, up the stairs there. Which I'm not going to do. Uh, we still haven't been back to town to get our level 30 skills. And I haven't had time to research yet to see if there's any big uh, level 30 paladin stuff yet. Doesn't seem to be any quests in the paladin areas, but they might not show up until we go to them, uh, go to those spots. Your skill in combat, adventurer, cannot be doubted. Your resolve may yet see us through to the end of Morbent Fell. Go to the city of Stormwind and speak with Bishop Farthing in the Cathedral of Light. Give him Jitter's journal, and tell him you mean to face Morbent Fell. Although Stormwind has forsaken Darkshire, Farthing is a kind soul and very wise. He may help you on your quest to save us. Your mission is perilous, but hurry, adventurer. With each passing hour, the shadows of Duskwood grow ever darker. Just what I love most. A uh, quest that requires us to fly and travel all around the place. I am going to kill 10 of these little baby skeletons and we'll see how many rot blossoms we get. I wonder if we can do a few doubles here. I can't if it's a caster. So that's three down, no rock blossom. Wait, was I killing the right ones? Was that caster a healer? It was. So they don't drop, so we're only two down. I only killed two uh, appropriate mobs. Okay, there's our first rock blossom. So this might be uh, this might be a green light. It's not too difficult. Let's try a triple here. Probably should have uh, gotten full health first. Okay, we can comfortably uh, do triples. I think.
No luck on the rock blossom. Have we picked up food? Yes, we have. So I think that's either like five or six kills with only one rock blossom. Uh, looks like we can do another triple here. We could do a quad if we really wanted to. Doesn't seem worth it though. Oh. He's dodging us. Oh, it reset. Are you kidding me? Oh, that sucks. I'm gonna go get revenge on that one. Looking good, looking good. Up to three. Definitely worthwhile doing this one. And where was our... this... Make the most of this food instead of throwing it out like we normally do. This guy's got one for sure. You saw the way he ran away. He's hiding something. Give me your rot blossom, Mr. Horror. Never mind. Never mind, I didn't say anything. Double here. Any more skeletons to pull in? Not looking like it. They're up a bit too far away. Lockbox. I wonder if I know any rogues that would uh, be happy to open that. Jeez, this meat is nearly a silver. Then again, silver. Silver isn't worth as much as it used to be. Let's go to quad. Why am I doing this, you ask? Yeah, good question. Asking myself the same thing right now. <laughs> Why am I doing this? <laughs> that was a bit of a, a panic lay on hands there. Thank you, uh, Icy Cubes. Give you a little buff. No, I can't. You're too far already. Yeah, that, um, that damage started ramping up a bit faster than I was expecting. I was nice and cool, and then I was like, oh god, what do I do? And <laughs> used my one hour cooldown. Not very cool. I mean, we, we, we were totally fine. It just uh, surprised me a little bit. Probably should have bubbled and just thrown a couple of heals out while keeping uh, Consecration up. Okay. Looks like we've stumbled onto a spot with a bunch of people doing AoE pulls. Kill this and uh, get out of your hair. Go back to my own spot over there. Oh, okay. I think I'm starting to understand why uh, this guy's here. Uh, what else can I drop? So we'll... Don't even really need to heal. Need to drink more than heal. All right. 
Right, well, I'm out of your hair anyway. That was the last one we needed. And now it is just a run back to Darkshire. You guys know the drill. Going to be avoiding all danger on the way. Nothing's going to happen, except maybe uh, seeing a fat stitched man in the distance. See you when we get to the quest guy. Right here we are. Run into uh, a little bit of trouble here on the way back. Down. It's going to delay us slightly. I do see an iron deposit which has uh, grabbed my attention. How close to town are we? I think we're, um, we are real close. So this, uh, I think we're going to witness the action here. If I can ever successfully uh, mine this. Heavy stone, that is what we want. Heavy stone is pretty pricey. Four and a half silver per stone at the moment. And again, I guess that isn't too pricey. Prices are prob probably dropping over time as more and more people... Silver! Oh man, I think Stitches is... Uh, we're going to miss this entire fight in town. With all these uh, rarish mining nodes about. Is the action still happening? Is half the town dead? Is Stitches dead? Ah. Seeing him? Surely he wouldn't have despawned uh, this quickly. The guards are still here. Where'd he go? Is that a dead guard? It's a dead person. What what the hell happened? He was here. Unless oh there he is. Alright, so we are in time. We're in time for for some action. <laughs> Let's watch what happens here. Yeah, right off the road. <laughs> uh, watch it, Jordan. I wouldn't go that way if I was you. 1,200 health versus 3,000. It's a bit of a lopsided fight. If they even do fight. Alright, maybe not. Nope, oh, there we go. Wait, <laughs> Doing a bit of a run around. Jordan's doing pretty well here. But Stitches is just... He is going to outlast him. There is nothing Watcher Jordan can do here. That's going to take a little bit. Let's start handing our quests in. And I think uh, by the time we do, Stitches will be here in town. Adventurer, to be honest with you, I did not believe that you would get this far. But you are clearly an adventurer to be reckoned with. In fact, if you wish to formally join Master Karevin's struggle... Spot. I will gladly write for you a letter of recommendation. Here you go, adventurer. Bring this message to Master Karevin. A few more like you, and we will outnumber the Night Watch. Perhaps then we could complete the work that we few carry on today. Okay, I should have looked at what those shoulders look like. Oh, they're only leather. No, we're not going to use those. My butt cheeks are tightening a little bit with the thought of uh, How are you? stitches coming up through here and uh, potentially hey, aggroing onto me before the guards. You saw how hard it was for him to even just start a fight there with that other fella. Here you go, adventurer. Bring this message to Master Karevin. A few more like you, and we will outnumber the Night Watch. Perhaps then we could complete the work that we few carry Stamina on Stamina spirit. 
That's not too bad, actually. I think we'll take that. Oh, I have a cat attacking me. This is really bad timing. Come on, out of the way. Got a murderous monster on the way here. K Pally, level 39. He's keen. He is keen. So he's squaring off. Okay, enough, enough, Jonathan. We got, we got some action going on here. Oh, everyone's going in. A little bit uh, reluctant to hit him. Oh, let's do it. Can I even? Can I even scratch him? Oh yeah, I gotta hit him. Threat meters looking good. <laughs> Ready to bubble. <laughs> I stun him. I resisted. Ah, oh, Stitches, you're nothing, buddy. Nothing in front of me, sister. Hey, Pally, it was all me, okay? I took him down. That was a real, uh, real funny time to get attacked by a cat. Well met. On behalf of the people of Darkshire, and as the leader of the Night Watch, I thank you, adventurer, for your bravery and dedication. May the light shine upon your way. That is our final ten slot bag. This is this is crazy. Never been this lucky with bags. I mean, look, a bunch of these were actually I think three of them are from quest rewards, so I guess it's not that lucky, but um I don't know, I'm just used to not having good bags. Good, you got the rot blossoms. And I'll tell Althea Ebonlock of the Night Watch that you were killing skeletons. Keeping the people of Darkshire safe is a grim burden for the Night Watch, and news that others are helping stem the tide of fiends in Duskwood is welcome news indeed. Here's your zombie juice. And be careful with this stuff. Where am I going it's here? strong enough to raise the dead. Watch a Bacchus. It's like he's outside, maybe. this guy and tell me he died oh he walks the road okay let's go grab him quickly um I am not gonna do that run maybe I'll hold on to the quest Ah, uh, on the off chance that we, you know, when we eventually go back and kill more Adam, we'll get uh, a tiny bit of XP from doing that hand in as well. You're back safe and sound. Couldn't ask for much more than that, could you? Now, let's see what we have here. This looks pretty official as far as any Defias documents I've seen, but it could be a dupe just to throw you off track of whatever it is you're looking for. Whoa, this looks way too complex to be something to just lead you astray. I shouldn't even be looking at this stuff. In. Take it to Trias. He'll be able to make sense of it. And don't let anyone get in your way. This is bigger than me. It might even be bigger than him, but we'll see. And do me a favor, stranger. Don't tell anyone I helped you. If my superiors found out I knew about any of this and didn't share it with them, they'd probably hang me. Got a bunch of quests to turn in in Stormwind now that are probably going to send us back, keep back here, which we're not interested in coming back for a little bit. This log's not too bad, though. I'm being being mauled by a cat on my lap. It's like he knows what time I start doing my recordings. He's like, aha, now is the time to attack. Um, now that I think about it, this is probably... I'm not going to be... Actually, no, we'll, we'll use our hearth when we uh, we'll run down here and then hearth back. Because it's singing hearthstone to stormwind versus flight path when the flight path is right here. Very convenient. What can I do for you? That's my plan. Alright, see you in Stormwind. What can I do for you? Yeah, this is an interesting read. Jorgen and Delave were smart to bring me in on this. Seems the Defias have been trying pretty hard to complete this plan of theirs. Hmm. What's this? Fist? That's a familiar name. Yeah, now that I think about it, Dashel. Dashel something. What was his name? Fist. Dashell Stonefist. They call him Fist in some circles. 
Probably on account that he likes to get in brawls. You can find him in Old Town, usually. Right smack dab in the center of it. Go talk to him. If you have to, use a sword or something heavy and blunt to persuade him to open up some. And don't hesitate. If he's in this as deep as these papers suggest, then he's not going to give you any information willingly. Alright, I did hear about this from the guys last night. But, uh, there's a guy here in the middle of Old Town that you have a fight with. I think they were saying it's a little bit tricky, but, um, oh, because there might be more than one. He's level 26. What? You come into me alley and ask questions about me personal business? Business which you obviously have nothing to do with. That's right. Yeah, you're obviously not the smartest person. What to happened know? to your voice? But you're about to be one of the dumbest to never leave. Have you met me you friends? Have you met me friends? Should be doable. Right off they go. Wait, what? It's not fair. Going green and saying we don't want to fight and then healing and immediately coming back. I guess they are thugs. They don't play by the rules. I've dispatched your friends. So you came to me for a reason. What is it you need? So, yeah. Um, I might know something about that meeting at Adel's stead. Happened a few weeks back, I think. I really didn't have any part in it. Me part was done when plan A failed. Me part. <laughs> Damn adventurers. The guy we got on the inside for plan B came out of Menethil. Guy called Slim. That's all I know regarding their backup plan. That must have been the worst AI voice that I've heard so far for an NPC. I think I talked to him three times and each of the three times he had a different voice. Um, certainly not perfect. I always wondered if this, this kind of looks like it'd be a shortcut, hey? But I've heard people saying there's something in the water. There's even steps there. Let's give it a go. This looks like, there we go. Easy. Look at that shortcut. That time saved. So we're going to turn this in as well as get our level 30 skills. And look at this. We're halfway through 30 already. It's been an, a, a very efficient episode. Oh, it's uh, definitely getting less and less efficient now that we're doing all this running around. What do you have for me here? Hello. An evil taint has gained a foothold within the already beleaguered Duskwood. I thank the light that we have a hero such nice. as you to face it. But you must first prepare yourself for the coming trial. For the necromancer Morbent Fell is immensely powerful and has cast dark enchantments about himself to protect him from physical assaults. If you are to defeat him, you will need a weapon that is proof against these protections. Years ago, the third fleet of Kul'Tiras sunk along the coasts of the wetlands, an expanse of... Why did I get the skill Divine Intervention? We do not want that. We... <laughs> I want nothing to do with Divine Intervention. Yikes. Well, we did get a bunch of other things, though. Was new level of Consecrate, 64 over 8, 120. That is pretty much double. It's really good. Where am I walking to? I'm going back to the middle here. Uh, I'm pretty sure I need to buy a book for the rest of my first aid as well. I think it's about a gold. Take care of that. Let's just let this guy finish his quest talk. Years ago, the third fleet of Kul'Tiras sunk along the coasts of the wetlands, an expanse of marsh north of the dwarven kingdom of Ironforge. Aboard one ship was a load of Lightforge iron. This metal is precious to us, for items crafted from it strike with holy truth. If you are to face Morbent Fell, then you will need such a weapon. Go to Menethil Harbor and speak with my dwarven colleague, Glorin Steelbrow. If that lost metal can be found, he'll know where to look. Here we are. 
Oh, we've got a new rank of righteousness as well. We've done a lot of talking to this NPC. So every quest in Stormwind seems, Stormwind seems to run through him. Good to see you're still alive, adventurer. So he's sending me to well the wetlands as well. Then, huh? I've been reading up more on this plan of theirs. It's perfect. And although it doesn't state the name of the diplomat they were after, it does talk about this plan B they enacted after failing on their first attempt to capture him. This slim that Dashiell mentioned doesn't have any other name written here, but if you say he's in Menethil, then that's a start. Oh no, Deepfeet! Deepfeet has died! This my friend. What got him? Guard? He's died to a guard in the Barrens! Watch out for the guard towers in Barrens. Oh no! <laughs> oh no, Deets. R.I.P. Deets. Man down, man down. What level was he? Level 22. Oh, that's got to hurt. He must have been doing the run for Wailing Caverns. It's no good. Well, we got our first aid book. <laughs> Deeds, no. He's gone offline. I wonder if that'll be it for him or if he's going again. Deeds has left the guild, so characters deleted. Question will be, will we see a new Deets appear? So our first aid's up. We can start getting rid of all this wool. Uh, question will be, though. Oh, actually, silk will be next, won't it? You need something? Oh, splendid. I can use this ore to make my dye and then can finish copying the stresses of iron. Thank you, adventurer. Now that I've finished copying the book, Here's the original stresses of iron. Thank you for your patience, and if you see Milton, please tell him I'm sorry for the long delay. Alright, so I've realized I've just run out here to North Shear Abbey, handed in the, uh, the ore that we've been uh, holding on to. Well, not holding on to. We, we've got that quest a very long time ago. And I realized if I'm here, I might as well just run south, turn this other quest in, probably never go back there. Might as well get it done, then hearth back to Stormwind. And then we'll uh, continue on to the wetlands. We already were going there, and all these extra quests we're getting are sending us there as well, so feels like it's meant to be. I'll uh, see you at the quest, and I'll see you at the wetlands after that. thousand thanks, adventurer. You warm an old man's heart with your foolish... I mean, with your... Cool ribs. Here you are, friend. Take this as a token of my gratitude. Mm. I live so far from the protection of town, it's a wonder the ghouls and the walking dead haven't eaten me. Might In as fact, well knock it out. yesterday, a pack of bone chewers was pounding on the walls of my house. I want to make an effigy, a kind of scarecrow for ghouls. To do that, I need some ghoul ribs. You can get them from flesh eaters, bone chewers, brain eaters, rotted ones, and plague spreaders. Get the ribs for me and I will repay you with some coin. We're going to do what we normally do. We're going to kill 10. See if we have any ribs. If we have no ribs, we're taken off. fact that there are none alive right now is not filling me with confidence at this quest. Ah, oh, quite a few down here though. Oh, I was really tempted to do a triple there. Yeah, Alright, looks like we're going for it. And we are out of mana. bubble here and just make sure make sure we are nice and safe it 
So that extra cost on the consecration, I wasn't uh, ready for that. Oh, bright mantle. No idea if that's any good or not for the healing set. It might be, might not be. Okay, so two is our limit. I mean, yeah, we can do three, but we don't want to... Uh, we don't want to smash too many. Get smashed, I should say. Have one rib out of four mobs so far. really sucks how often we end up uh, repeating killing the same mobs like we <laughs> we were down here of course we just didn't have this quest yet it's all right though it's all xp as we always say all right, going going good with the ribs oh is that a dead body over there Corpse of Glambert. That was not there when we were here uh, earlier. Poor Glambert. I only assume the respawns got him. We are flying with these ribs now. Maybe uh, whatever we're fighting now, these plague spreaders, maybe they've got a better drop rate. Come on. You're not going to get a successful cast off there. Oh, God. It might... Probably wasting my time doing this. The old uh, dodge. Whoops. And cleansed. And another rib. This was definitely worthwhile. It wasn't looking uh, promising at first, but uh, it is now. Mana and health are both a little bit low. Even though we're fine right now, we won't be fine if we have some respawns come up behind us. One more hit. Not going to have the same fate as uh, the dwarf over there. Even though we're getting pretty low on mana. And there is our last rib. Let's get out of here. Turn it in. And then... <laughs> Uh, maybe back to our original goal of wetlands? I don't know. This gives us another easy... Oh, of course they're everywhere now. Uh, yeah, let's, let's not get a double pull here. Even if they're lower level. Not having mana could, uh, could pose a problem. Spider leaves. Let me just jump up here. Oh, that looked pretty close. There we go. Take this guy out on the way through. And away we go. There's a lot of respawns. That whole area has popped up now. Interesting place to AFK. I wonder if mobs just can't hit you when you're up there. How are you? Ah, thanks. These will do just the trick. 
A few weeks ago, I was picking herbs far from my house, and a band of ogres attacked me. I ran, and I was forced to leave behind a crate of precious tools oh, damn man. After they chased me off, the ogres swaggered back to the ogre mound in mm, southern Might as well. I'm sure my crate is somewhere near the mound. Please, adventurer, retrieve this crate for me, for I miss it sorely. <laughs> I miss it sorely. It's an appropriate level. We might as well knock it out. I wonder where the flight path is in Stranglethorn Vale. Obviously there's one in Booty Bay. I don't know if there's an Alliance one nearby. Just being down in this area, it would be interesting if it would be worth grabbing a flight path, but I don't see one. Let's get somewhere where I can comfortably auto run and not be harassed. direction we want to go okay are we gonna run into this other spider let's try a different zone yeah you can definitely see the foot so if there's no foot in Stranglethorn Vale at the top here there is no flight path it's light to the right these are of course the same ogres we faced before once again getting a Double up on quests that we've already finished and then going back. Not the most efficient. It's all good XP though. Get closer and closer to 31 at this rate. Not going to do it this episode, but be hitting 31 very early in the next episode. Tin vein. Take that. Whereabouts is this crate? Is it going to be inside the cave or outside? Maybe it's going to be a real easy pickup. That'd be nice. It'd also be nice if I could climb this without falling. Looks decently close. If it is in the cave, it, I don't think it's very far in. If I had to guess... I'm going to guess it's outside with like four enemies surrounding it and we're going to see it and we're going to nope out. Let's hope that isn't the case. It's a chest. Oh, I saw something highlight. There it is. Let's just play it safe and take this guy out. Might as well continue to prove our point that there's never anything good in the chest. Uh, well, there's a jade, which is like 10 silver. Alright, will this be the final time we do this run? I kind of hope so. It's just hard, it's hard to turn down a quest that's already nearby. It's an appropriate level. It's going to give us a good chunk of XP. And it, uh, you know, increases the chance we're not going to run out of stuff to do later. So we might as well get it done before uh, heading off to wetlands. Got at this rate, the wetlands stuff's going to start uh, going green for us. Just have to concentrate here for a second while we're crossing the road. For the same reason as always. We don't want to get ganked by a big beefy boy. That's sweet. I know he does uh, run down this path uh, when he respawns, but if he did hit us at this point, he wouldn't be aggressive yet. Definitely would uh, frighten me, I'm sure. Frighten anyone that sees uh, that guy running at you, but uh, he wouldn't he wouldn't hurt you unless you hurt him first. Please let me not get these spiders. Am I going to get both? I got none. Cool. What can I do for you? Thank the Nick. Well, thank you, adventurer. You have more than earned your reward. Aha! Uh -huh. Happy, happy nights ahead. 
Take this note to Ello Ebenlock, the mayor of Darkshire. He and I are old friends, and when he reads it and discovers what you did for me, I'm sure he'll be just as happy as I am. <laughs> that was a very interesting laugh. And uh, we're not going to be handing that quest in. Not yet, at least. Our bags are so full of uh, mostly mining stuff. And uh, I am going to take care of the mining stuff, but not now. And not on camera. That'll be... Next time I'm in a major city that isn't now. Take care of that. Wow, these are worth a gold, apparently, on the auction house. Just quickly compare these to the shoulders I do have on the healing set. One of the good things about the Paladin, of course, is that you don't really need to stress too much about saving money for Hello. mounts. Six Intellect, four Spirit. Five Intellect, four Spirit. Yeah, what I have is better. I'm going to try and sell these. And uh, oh, we've got a quest here as well. Quests everywhere. But you know what? Next time you see me... I will have taken care of these things, and I will be in the wetlands. See you then. Alright, we've landed here in the wetlands. It was a lot of travel, a lot of uh, little things I'm the sole done. I'm survivor of the ill-fated third fleet of Kul Tiras, wrecked off the coast to the north. Used to have that quest, so you don't need to hear it again. Lightforge iron is a precious metal. But it sounds like your quest is a dire one. You've come a long way, sister. With luck, you might just find what you seek. And if you do get the iron, I know who can fashion it into a weapon against this necromancer you speak of in Duskwood. The shipwrecks off the shore here are the doomed third fleet of Kultiras, burned and sunk by red dragons during the last great war. The hmm. fleet hailed from Lord Eron, but one ship... An elvish destroyer, flying Osprey, was with it. It was shipping a load of Lightforge iron and joined the third fleet for protection. Ironic Ooh. that it sunk to the same dragons. Enough history. The flying Osprey is wrecked to the south of Menethil Harbor. If you find the Lightforge iron there, uh -huh. bring it to me. Welcome, welcome, well. What just happened? The gentleman over there by the exit is looking over here. Do I have to go back to Stormwind to pick this up? Oh, no. So I can do it again here. What gentleman is it? Oh, this guy. Okay. I'm ready this time. I'll subdue him. Somehow? Maybe? Maybe not? Oh, yes, I will. Oh, he's, uh... Oh, okay. This is, uh... This is not happening. <laughs> It's not happening at all. Did they back off yet? Yeah, we're not taking two level 34s. Uh, one of them I, I bet we could have, but not two. Save that one for later. Is that the exclamation mark? It probably is. And I'll be back. Mega Sister always gets revenge when someone does something uh, to make her look bad. Back in a couple of levels, maybe. Oh, looks like someone... Oh, I was going to say someone has cleared this out for us already, but maybe not. My brother James went with Lady Proudmoore across the sea. Last I heard, the fighting had settled down over there, and James was setting up an inn somewhere on the continent. Wherever he is, I'm sure he's doing good business. Damn fine cook he was. I haven't heard from him for a while now. Too busy with his inn, I'd wager. But the clerk in Theramore could probably point you to him. Alright, looks like these guys have light forge ingots that we need. So it looks like someone else is, uh, well, two people 
And we're already on the quest. It's going to make it a bit more difficult for us. We are at one, though. Uh, one over here. Little bit of a challenge to compete with two people, level 30 and level 30. <laughs> Hang on, his name is Noel Lover and Mogo Liquito. Interesting. Need some more ingots though. Is this just a bad time to be doing this? Looks like they go all the way down to the south. Thing in the water. Let's go on some dry land and travel a bit faster if we can even get up here. It's very steep. Don't know if this is a shortcut or not. We might be... Um, here we go. Yes, plenty over here. Whoops. Down I go. Please give me your ingots. What do we still have to do? So we've got this named guy to kill. We've got war banners. And we've got this uh, curse crew. I remember the curse crew being quite tricky. I don't know if we are going to get to all of that today. Just realised... Uh, I, I, I don't know how long our recording is, but I've got about nine minutes before I've got to head out. So we're probably just going to take care of this quest and then uh, park ourselves in the inn. Just going to have us uh, pretty close to, if not, level 31. Which I didn't think we were going to get to uh, this episode. We'll see though. Depends what our drop rate's going to be like on these ingots. Heal off after this guy goes down. No luck so far. This might be a crappy drop rate. Lost ingots. So gather five light forge ingots and return to Glorin Steel Brew. Having grabbed a single light forge ingot from the waterlogged chest. So that's why we're on one of five. Now we haven't had one drop, we just started with one. Um, it is clear that Murlocs have stolen the rest. Hunt the Murloc raiders near the flying osprey wreckage for the lost light forge uh, iron. That's our first one. Would have liked to have got a heal off there, but I got a bit greedy. Crept forward a bit too much. And there are plenty of Murlocs down here for us to uh, loot. Hopefully this is all we need to get the job done. Free to go. Let's go, Bluegill Raider. Please give me another ingot. Seems like it's a bit of a dodgy drop rate, so far at least. Maybe like one in five, perhaps. See, them uh, netting me and running away, that could be a problem. So I'm going to have to have my a trigger ready to pull a hodge. The old hammer of justice. Stop them from escaping too fast. Here's our three of five. Really are a lot of these murlocs around. Try and stay close to the shoreline if I can.
Oh, big crit. He survived. Not for long, though. Send on him from above. go and get some Malaysian food after this. I'm supposed to be leaving in about six minutes, but I reckon, uh, reckon we can push this and get this quest complete, hopefully, even if it's a little bit more than six minutes. Going to uh, Papa Rich, don't know if uh, anyone watching this has, has heard of them. I don't know how far and wide they are, but uh, yeah, nice Malaysian food, get some roti. And he's running away. Oh, I am close to drowning. Let's get some oxygen. And continue on. Two more. So two more ingots and we're done. It, that helps a lot. No luck. Tempted to start heading back, but I uh, don't want to run out of Murlocs to kill. Let's try putting a Seal of Crusader on. Haven't done that in a very long time. Doing 36 per hit now. I don't know what we were doing before. We'll look out for it uh, on the next one we engage. I did uh, 4 or 5, excellent. I did look that up by the way, like what is recommended, and it is recommended to just uh, completely ignore Seal of the Crusader. 36 versus 30? That can't be right. You're telling me that putting that on only increased the ticks by 6 damage? I must be uh, not seeing that correctly. I'm going to try again. Thirty-six? Are you kidding me? Have I got the wrong rank? That's only giving us an extra six. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not worth it. And it's doing a hundred. Uh, that's we've lost a hundred damage by judging that. I don't know. I always felt ooh, a small lustrous pearl. Wait, that's only worth two silver. For some reason, I thought that would be worth a lot more. Here you come. Uh, yeah, don't know what I was saying before, but maybe Seal of the Crusader was uh, better early on. I guess it was always questionable. I really wanted to use it. <laughs> I was always trying to find a way to make it seem like it was uh, worth it. Maybe it never was. Nice to add a little bit of complexity to the Paladin rotation, applying a, a debuff at the start. Makes, makes things a little bit more interesting than just righteousness judgment, righteousness judgment. He's, and I fat fingered my bubble yet again, which doesn't matter because we've just killed our last mob. Which means all we need to do is get back to safety. Oh, the turn in isn't even here. Where's the turn in? Turn in? No, it's not this one. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe it is here. I think it is. Just couldn't see it on the mini map or the big map. I've heard there are sharks or something in this area. I feel like I've heard this before. So we're not gonna just auto swim and take this for granted. We're gonna keep our eyes open. Make sure we uh, don't die in the most embarrassing way possible. Auto swimming across a small body of water. 
getting taken out by a shark. If there is a shark, um, we are safe from it. Just rem I remember hearing stories of people who get off the boat here and they accidentally fall off and die to the shark. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong town. Maybe it's not Menethor. I might be thinking of here. I might be thinking of Theramore. Full bags. We look for our final turn in. It's not going to ding us, but we're going to be dinging very quickly in on the uh, next episode. How are you? Ah, you found them. Now let's get this light forge iron <laughs> hammered into something useful, eh? Back to Stormwind again. A dwarven weaponsmith in the dwarven district of Stormwind who can craft with light forge iron. His name is Grimand Elmore. I've packed the iron you found into a crate. Take it to Grimmond and tell him your tale. I'm sure he'll oblige someone on a quest such as yours and craft for you a weapon. A weapon to give even Morven Fell worries. All right, well, we can worry about that uh, on the next episode. One and a bit bars away. Uh, first aid trainer kind of crowding me here. Hope, uh, hope you had a good time. We're blasting along. 31 soon, 60 next. It's uh, really easy to do when you can't die. Anyway, thanks for watching. See you on the next episode.